Hey what's going on guys this is Jim Fahad in this tutorial I'm gonna show you how to make creative borders in Elementor. So in this tutorial I will show you how to create these kind of cool looking creative borders. Also I will show you how to create these image borders with nice rounded corners. So I will show you the easiest way how to do it. And following the same way, you can not only create exact these borders, you can create any kind of border you want. And before that, I want to tell you, if your website has tons of white space and if you don't have boxes inside of your website, then you don't need this kind of border. But if you want to make your website more creative, then you can use this kind of cool looking borders. Okay, so first let me show you the usual way how to add borders to any section or any elements like here we have a nice inner section here first i want to add a usual border on this column so to do it i'm clicking on this column icon here then let's go to under style tab then here you can see border let's click here now from here you can select border type to solid and then you can specify with like if you want to add 15 pixel of border also you can change the color from here like if you want to make it red white black or whatever you want so this is the usual way but you know it looks pretty boring old-fashioned so i don't want to keep this so from border type i'm selecting none with this column i want to use a border like this so to make it happen we will use some custom css and custom css is only available on elementor pro so you need to have elementor pro you know it's only 49 dollar and it's worth each penny of it not only because of this custom css option custom css is one of the coolest option but it has tons of options to make your website awesome without doing any coding and if you don't have elementor pro you are missing out half of the world so i highly recommend you to get elementor pro i will put elementor pro link in the description you can get your elementor pro from that link okay so we are now selecting this column icon and let's now go to advanced tab and as we are using elementor pro here you can see custom css let's now click here on custom css to expand it and don't worry you don't need to know any css code because i have already written that css snippet for you so to get that snippet let's go to jimfahaddigital.com here in this page you can see here creative border custom css i'll put this pages link on the description as well so from there just select this css snippet code i'm copying it and let's now go back to our elementor builder and then here i'm pasting the css snippet okay first let me explain this css snippet so that you can customize it on your own way first you can see here selector that's because of selecting this column as we have clicked now on this column so this selector means this column and then here you can see border style solid there are options to make it dashed dotted but here we always need to keep it solid and then here is border width I'm keeping it 15 pixel if you want to reduce it you can make it 8 pixel or 10 pixel like that and here you can see border color it's RGBA then 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0.1 actually if we also remove it you cannot see any changes here but always use it because some browsers don't support it I mean some browser don't support border image like some old browser like internet explorer so for that reason always keep this border color property and here this one is the main thing border image source then here you can see double parenthesis and quotation we will put our image link here inside i'm showing you that shortly and underneath that here you can see border image slice it's 15 so always keep this number same as your border width here like right now our border width is 15 pixel here so i'm keeping the border image slice to 15 if our border width would 10 pixel then we need to keep the value of this border image slice to 10 so always keep this value and this one value same simple okay so main thing here border image source here we will be adding the image that will become our border 
So you can grab any image from outside of your website or from inside of your website. So we just need the image link. Like if we now go to style tab and from here image, let's now click here and select this image. I'm not inserting this image. I only need the link of this image. So on the right side, if we scroll down here, copy link. So I'm just copying the link of this image. Then now close it. Now let's go back to advanced tab and then custom CSS. Now inside this quotation, I'm pasting the image URL. Cool. So it's basically a PNG image because you can see at the last a dot PNG and here is no hidden trick. The PNG image is like that and that created this kind of illusion like this cut off here and here. So not only PNG image, we can use any SVG image or JPEG formatted image, any image we want. Now let's add a JPEG image on this column. So first I'm copying this CSS snippet from here and let's now click on this column icon. Now from under advanced tab, here is the custom CSS. I'm pasting the snippet here. Now instead of this image, I want to add another image. So I'm again going to style, then clicking on this choose image. And this time I want to use this one. So from right side, scroll down. I'm just copying the image link from here. Now close this. Now go to under advanced tab. Then here custom CSS. I just want to replace this image with the new image. Cool. So we have replicated these two cool looking borders. But here is a restriction. As we are using border image on custom CSS, for that we cannot use border radius on the corners. So this is the only con of using this border image. You cannot just make the corner rounded. But no worries, I'm here for you. I will also show you how you can create these kind of nice rounded borders as well. But before that, just take one second break and give this video a thumb up and subscribe to this YouTube channel because not only this, I have more cool tutorials upcoming. You shouldn't miss any of that. So please make sure you like it and subscribe this YouTube channel and click on the bell icon to get notified before anyone. Okay, so let's now have a look how can we create this kind of cool looking rounded image borders. It's actually a little hack. I'm showing you the trick. So first from these two column, I want to remove the custom CSS. So I'm clicking on this column and let's now remove the custom CSS because for this one, we don't need custom CSS anymore. Also from this one, I want to remove the custom CSS. Okay, now let me show you one thing first. The way I'm gonna show you right now, if you want to do it exactly like this, you also need to structure your section in this way. I mean, here you can see a section first, then inside that section, here is another section. This is an inner section, and inside that inner section, here is a column. So you can already understand it's a decent parent child nesting. And this is the best way to design and organize your sections. Okay, for now, just forget about the most outer section, this one. Now only think about these two. Here, this inner section is the outer, it's the parent. And inside that, here is the column, it's the child. So first, I want to add a background image on the parent element, on the inner section. So I'm selecting this inner section. Now from left, let's go under the style tab. And here, background image. Let's choose an image. Let's select this one. And this time, we are not copying the image URL. We are now literally inserting this image. So let's now click here, insert media. So that image is now background of this whole inner section. Let's now click on this column icon, the child element, and then go to style tab and background color. I want to add a light background color from this color picker, maybe like this sky blue, or let's make it a bit lighter like this. Okay, cool. Now let's go to under advanced tab. Here you can see margin. I want to add 15 pixel of margin all around of this column. Cool. 
now let's see how you can add that rounded corner so first let's click on this inner section again then go to style tab now scroll down a bit here you can see border let's now click here and i want to add a border radius of 12 pixel like this it looks cool so you can see the rounded border here on all corners the outer corners then if you want to add rounded corners on the column inside then you need to click on this column now let's go to style tab scroll down let's click on border and here i want to add 8 pixel of border border radius so now you can see it the cool rounded corners on the very outside and inside as well let's now do the same with the right column but here also i want to add some box shadow so on the same way again let's click on inner section first then from style tab background i want to choose this image let's now click on insert media then let's click on this column let's go to advanced let's add 15 pixel of margin all around the column then let's go to style background color let's add a dark blue color like this then click on border because on this column like this one i want to add 8 pixel of border radius and on the outer section on the inner section let's click this one from under the style tab here is the border let's give it 10 pixel of border radius like 8 cool it looks really nice now and then if you want to add some box shadow you can do that as well from clicking on this column then here under border you can see box shadow let's now click here can you see the shadow here all around with this column so like if you want to increase the blur you can do it from here like this you can make this spread more like this oops it looks super ugly let's keep it zero and from blur let's reduce it to 20 like this all right perfect we are done and the last but not least we of course should check it's looking perfect on mobile device and tablet as well so from left let's go to responsive mode and click on tablet it's looking perfect on tablet device no problem with its responsiveness and let's now from left go to mobile device it also looks perfect on mobile device so it's 100 percent responsive cool and if you want to use this template whatever i have created all these borders all these sections you can just go to jim fahad the digital i will put this pages link in the description from there you can see here download this page template so you can download this whole page template as a json format then if you want you can use it on your own website your own projects or anywhere you want so this is it for now thank you so much for watching this tutorial and if you need any professional help for your website or even if you want me to make your amazing complete website you can go to jimfahaddigital.com i will put the link in the description from there you can click here need any solution you can click here and then you can just fill up your name your email address and the problem you are getting or even if you need a complete website you can describe everything here here you can select a time frame when would you like to get your service delivered then if you have any budget in your mind then just click on submit request hey thank you so much for watching if you like it please this give video a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe this youtube channel to watch more similar content like this i'm in a rush for now bye bye